Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Warner, SAT Math Guru and Associate Professor of Mathematics. I've been tutoring SAT Math for the last 12 years and have helped over a thousand students with their performance, many getting a perfect 800 or near perfect score. You know, many high school students ask me if they should get a private tutor or if they should sign up for an SAT prep course. Both of these options can be quite costly, so it's best to be as informed as possible before making a decision. In what follows, my focus will be on SAT prep courses, but what I say is relevant to private tutoring as well. The main reason to sign up for a course is for motivation. A prep course can keep you focused and on the correct path. If you are a student that can motivate yourself successfully, then there is no need to take an expensive course. Make sure that you watch my video on the correct way to prepare for the SAT, especially if you decide not to take a course. This video has some great hints and tips for anyone who wants advice on SAT preparation. Now I don't want to give the impression that I am against SAT prep courses. I think that they can be great. In fact, I've been running them for many years. If you do decide to take a course, here are some things you should find out about the person or company that you will be dealing with. What are their results? In other words, what is the average score increase that students get from their PSAT to their SAT? How many students do they group together? I always prefer groups of about three to five students. This is small enough to give individualized attention and large enough to have a nice group dynamic. Do they group students by their PSAT scores? If you scored a 650 in math on your PSAT, you don't want to be in the same group as someone who scored a 400. You will most likely be wasting time practicing problems that you don't need help with and the 400 student will be struggling with problems that he or she will not even get up to on the actual exam. What are their hiring practices? Do they hire people just based upon their SAT scores, or do they make sure that they have exceptional teachers? Do they have separate instructors for verbal and math? What are the credentials of these instructors? Are their instructors paid well? In general, you get what you pay for, and in the case of a prep course, you get what the company is paying for. What are other people saying about them? Remember, the best recommendation is from friends who have already used them. Keep in mind that there are often local tutors that do a much better job than some of the big name companies and are less expensive. Local companies and tutors don't generally have many expenses, so they can pass these savings on to you. And there are many exceptional ones out there. Ask students that you know who have already taken the SAT where they went for preparation. Find out their results and if they were happy with the course. So, to summarize, first you should decide if you have the motivation to prepare for the SAT on your own. If so, make sure you stick to a study plan using the suggestions in my video on preparing for the SAT. If you decide you would like to sign up for a course, make sure you get the appropriate information before deciding whom to use. For more information on how you can get an 800 in SAT math, but to have specific questions answered by me personally, please click on the link below.